today we're going to reveal to you what we bought to replace our 2019 Ford Mustang GT that we sunk so much time and effort into over the past three years and unfortunately could not get things to uh, work out. So anyway, that car's gone. If you didn't know, if you missed the last video, go check it out. I'll link it up above so you can get a little bit of a synopsis of why that car is gone forever. But what do we replace it with? Sitting beside me and it is stunning, guys. This time around, just to paint the canvas a little bit, I wanted something that was not only going to be able to put the power down in a straight line, but something that will also turn. Potentially like to get into a little bit of uh, road course stuff this time around as well in combination with also going fast and straight line. So yes, we're going to build the car, um, but we're going to take things maybe a little bit slower this time and just enjoy it for what it is because I think that this car is so special, you almost don't even need to touch it. As we continue to paint the canvas, before I show you, uh, this time around, I also was shopping for something that was under the price tag of $75,000, which I'll cover in a future video like what I paid for the car because I think a lot of you guys will be interested, especially when you see it. But uh, that did count out the 2020 and up GT500. Sorry, guys. It also counted out the C8 Corvettes because you can't touch them in today's market for less than, let's say, about $100,000 unless you were extremely lucky. Uh, that did leave a lot of options on the table. So we got Hellcats, GT350s, 350Rs. Um, what else do we have? We have older GT500s. Um, we had a lot of different options for things that you could attain for under $75,000, there is sky's the limit almost. So that makes that make choosing a car really difficult. What are we gonna replace our Mustang that we love so very much with, you know, and still be able to get in and enjoy? And it was tough, but I had to go back to the roots and soul search a little bit. And like I said, this time I wanted to go fast straight. I also wanted to be able to turn this time around. So that is ultimately what led us to the decision and luckily, you know, as I was searching the internet, um, I found this thing in my neck of the woods. When I got out of the army, I sold for Chevrolet and this car popped up on their used car lot. Uh, when I saw the car, there's no way that I could not leave. I just couldn't leave that dealership without putting a deposit on the car. And luckily, because like the next day, somebody came underneath me and put a deposit down as well. So then I was kind of in a rush and that's why you never saw any final drive videos with the Mustang or anything like that. But anyway, I digress. So we're gonna show you the car now. I'm gonna spin the camera and I hope that you guys are excited as I have. I've had the car for about a week and I've been loving every single second of it. And I think that you guys are really going to appreciate the car for what it is. A little hint before we spin the camera, this was introduced back in 2017. It's got 650 horsepower and torque and it was messing up. It was screwing up cars that were two, three, and sometimes four times the cost of this car on the Nürburgring in 2017. Guys, welcome to the future. So four, three, two, one. L1 Camaro. <laughs> yes, sir. So we had to do something a little bit special this time. So like I said, uh, no GT350, no GT500s. Uh, I wanted to be a little bit different. I have a, uh, a serious love for these cars. I'll explain a little bit in this video and maybe more in future videos. Why in the world do we choose a Chevy product over a Ford product? For this amount of power, this amount of handling, this price tag, which we'll cover also in another video, the GT350Rs could be had for around the same money as this which I'll cover later on, possibly in a different video. But, um, you know, th these things broke the internet in 2017 when they came out. I actually owned one for a couple of months before. Long story, I can cover that in another video as well. Why in the world did we get rid of a ZL1 that was brand new? But anyway, this is the 10 speed auto and why not a 1LE? Also another video. There's so much content that can be made with this car, but um, this is it, 650 horsepower and torque. This is uh, finished in the, nightfall gray metallic and my gosh is it freaking sinister looking it's it's you know th these things came out before the 2020 shelby's 
And I gotta say that uh, I think that Ford stole a couple of styling cues from this car. Sorry, Chevy was here first. But um, no, I love the new 500s. I've got a, a lot of seat time in them, um, both on track and on the street. And they are phenomenal cars. But guys, in today's market, you just can't touch one, even used for uh, under $100,000. It's really hard to do. But um, this thing was a very attractive price and it's really cool because it came with a couple of mods already that I thought was really shocking. So there's a little bit of a backstory to this car too when I picked it up at the dealership. It's, it's interesting, they didn't take it in on trade. I guess, like I said, today's market, the guy had it. It was an older gentleman, I think. And he, uh, it was just a cash buy. He showed up the dealership and just sold the car. Before I show you the, um, the goodies that it came with, the uh the special upgrades if you will um this is the interior guys these cars come absolutely loaded if you've never been up close to a zl1 in person they are like 10 out of 10 <laughs> just amazing alcantara and leather absolutely everywhere they're very luxurious cars that come with a heads-up display alcantara steering wheel the seats um are amazing they they fit me perfectly i wouldn't change a thing um yeah leather alcantara they are also heated and ventilated unlike the new shelby gt500 when you get recars you lose that feature i don't know why you'd want to spend so much money on a car like that and not have that functionality anyway for me because this is uh my daily driver now if it was just a track rat i could see you know the point of losing that so Anyway, don't kill me in the comments. Too bad <laughs> now that I said that. I'm not going anti-Ford. I'm just saying um, that this comes with some features and benefits that uh, some of the uh, other competition doesn't have. Anyway, so we have a 10-speed automatic transmission. And what I like about this 10-speed is my last car with a 10R Rady. And I had a love-hate relationship with them. When, it were, when they were NA, when those 18-plus Mustang GTs are NA, the transmission, that 10-speed auto, is really a cheat code. But when you start adding boost and big power, they become a headache. You know, I went through like three different transmissions with my uh, Mustang GT. And now, yes, we were boosted, but, you know, I like to be able to have my cake and eat it too. And I didn't want a Turbo 400 swap it because I like daily driving it. Now, remember, the 10-speed in this was co-developed back in 2017, 2016, 2017 with Ford. Chevy and Ford actually going... Uh, putting their heads together and developing a product. But now I've got to tell you, they are completely different. Uh, mechanically, they're very similar. Tuning-wise, they're vastly different. Uh, this has obviously a different torque value since it's already a supercharged car, and it would be able to handle the power a little bit easier. But the, the way that the transmissions shift around, the way that they operate, the things that you can do, these ZL1 Camaros are night and day different uh, to a 10R80 in a Mustang in a good way. That's why I went with this instead of a, another the stick shift car i really like the 10 speed it's faster you know when these came out when these 10 speeds and the chevys came out um you know they were advertised to upshift faster than a porsche pdk so let that sink in for a minute of course this is the zl1 so it's a little bit more special i could not buy you know just camaro ss and i think uh be happy you know it definitely had to be uh something that was already boosted from the factory with a, an extremely good chassis this rides on the alpha chassis the alpha platform proven over years now at this point and just hold up really well they handle so much better um, it's absolutely amazing, but Alcantara, leather everywhere. Man, look at the seats. And the red seat belts are uh, the icing on the cake. I don't know. It just kind of makes it feel a little bit more supercar-esque, I guess. But um, yeah, everything about this car is perfect. I bought it with 10,200 miles. It's a 2018. Somebody, whoever owned this before, did not drive very much. Yes, 2018 ZL1 Camaro with 10,200 miles three years almost four years later so it was it's definitely been well taken care of now let's get into what i found on the car it came with three different things that i've discovered so far they were definitely 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 highly welcomed and one of the contributing factors why i bought this car over some of the other ones that i found for similar price i was kind of off on the color honestly i, I wasn't sure if i was going to like it let me get out and show you a little bit more. Yeah, the Nightfall Gray, normally I like Skittle colored cars. I like the reds and the yellows and the bright colors. And, and this is not it. This is my first, I think, dark, darker colored like sports muscle car. But let me know in the comments, what do you think? I mean, this is a really mean color. The 
gloss black against the gray uh, gives it a lot of cool contrast and makes it really aggressive looking. Everywhere I've been on the road so far, this thing is an absolute neck breaker. I never got that in my Mustang like I have in this. And it's only been like a week since I've owned the car. The amount of heads that this car turns is absolutely insane. Another welcome surprise was this. Borla attacks and it's not just like an axle back this is actually a full cat back coming back from the uh it ends right there at the secondary cats and it sounds really good i'll start it up in just a second but i want to show you something else and um really it's kind of right in front of us you may not even be able to pick it up on camera that well but i want you to take a close look at the paint take a very close look at the paint now i'm in an iphone but we can get real close. Basically missing something here. And those are scratches. A three-year-old car with even 10,000 miles should have uh, some scratches and stuff like that over just wear and tear and maintenance washes, but this one does not. So what I found out is this one actually has a full paint correction done on it already, and it's ceramic coated. I confirmed that when I washed it the other day, which is uh, definitely an expensive thing. And luckily I don't have to pay for that. So <laughs> it's already done. And that's one of the reasons that we see this nice glossy shine. The car is actually filthy right now. I mean, it's definitely dirty, but uh, you can't really tell. So I want to pop the hood and show you something else that we found that I thought was a welcome surprise. Got a Rotifab on it already. Rotifab intake, which is about a, what do they cost? Like four or 500 bucks. So kind of nice to see that it's already on the car. Less money I have to spend. This uh, definitely helps like with the blower wine a little bit. We'll definitely do a first drive probably in the next video. But uh, here we go, 6.2 liter supercharged uh, V8 push rod engine producing 650 horsepower and torque. And uh, I don't know if these increase horsepower at all, maybe a couple, uh, since it's pretty much like an untuned kind of upgrade, unless you get the, the bigger version of this. But the blower wine that you get from just adding an open element air box like this uh, air filter is vastly improved. And um, there's something else we can do to the blower to increase blower wine as well that'll be coming up uh, in another video. But this is it. It's already a boosted car. And I'm very excited to be able to, you know, start turning wrenches on this eventually. Yeah, I say eventually because the car to me is already so balanced, so good already. It's, it's yes, down on power from what we had before. But I honestly am not missing it. Um, you know, I, I went up to my buddy, my buddy's house the other weekend and all the turns, the twists and turns and stuff like that, just hauling butt through all of those and how composed and balanced the car was. I, I was re really just kind of scratching my head, just like, I don't know if I want to do anything with this car. It's already, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. You know, but you know how we do on this channel. We have to, we have to continue to tell the story. We have to mod. I just don't really know where to start because the car is already so good like it is. It's kind of like a new GT500. I don't know if I'd want to really touch it, you know? It, they're just so set up from the factory. But, I mean, we will do some things, obviously. We have to on the channel to, to kind of make the car our own. But this is it. This is our 2018 Z01 Camaro. And it's got 10,000 miles on it. It's got ceramic coating. It's got a paint correction done on it already. Rotofab intake and a catback exhaust. Will we change this for like Corsa or something? Or maybe AW? I don't know. But uh, I got to tell you that this thing sounds amazing. And that's what we got to do right now is we got to start the vehicle. We cannot end the video without you guys hearing what this beast sounds like. Yes. Let me know in the comments. What do you think about the color? It is so mean looking. The windows are not even tinted yet. I don't even know if I'm going to, honestly. All right. Let's give it a uh, remote start. Yes. It sounds so good. They sound so much different than the Mustangs that I'm coming from. Oh, look at the presence back there. It's so wide. And you know, hopefully the camera can pick this up. Look how wide this thing is. The fenders in the front, how they stick out as far as they do. Look at this. Look at those body lines. Man, my goodness. It's so aggressive. If you've never been up close to one of these cars, I mean, I don't know where you've been, but it's definitely a wide, mean vehicle. Very, very in your face. Yes, I love it. 
I love it. And for the price that we paid for this thing, sure, again, we'll cover, you know, in a video later on, what do we, what do we actually pay for this? And I think that most out there will be, you know, pretty surprised um, and maybe even shocked depending on where you're shopping in your neck of the woods. And, the, you know, the market right now is just like this. It's a roller coaster. But uh, this is it. This is the Camaro ZL1. So I got to say this. What does that leave for Mustang content? Well, I mean, still kind of a Mustang channel, even though we have a Chevy. Everybody hanging out with has Mustangs. So I'd say the content's not going away anytime soon. Now, also, if you caught the Easter eggs that I dropped in the last video, if you missed it then i didn't know where you've been but uh i did talk about maybe finding an older mustang chassis a roller and actually starting from the ground up doing cage doing safety doing everything all that first and i'm specifically choosing a mustang to do it so i want to be able to have a mustang on this channel at all times so that's going to be something i'm going to keep, be keeping my eyes open for is uh something to be shopping around for is an older mustang something cheap i don't care if it runs or not just so long as the frame is you know pretty much straight and uh and it's not wrecked you know to pieces or anything like that because i want to rip that car apart and then build from the ground up an actual like drag car that is what i want to do ultimately and so that way we don't have to hack up you know a beautiful car like this we can just spend all of our time building a dedicated drag car on something that i don't pay monthly payments on uh to the bank you know that way we can just keep this as a nice street vehicle and then we could road race this car as well we got the corvette museum track which is about an hour away from me and uh, I've got a professional driver, a good friend of mine, Steve Luca. You guys know him on YouTube as Serpent Stangs. He is an amazing driver and would be an amazing teacher. And this is a great platform, a great car to be able to kind of get my feet wet um, as far as that goes a little bit. And uh, we'll still drag race. This thing will still drag race at the end of the day too. So, all righty, that's it. That's the Camaro Z01. I hope that you guys approve, but if you don't, I'm sorry about it. I do. And uh, I did not buy this car, obviously, for YouTube. This is not the, the latest and greatest thing that's out there. This is uh, a few years old already, and um, this is more for me. So, like I said, I did soul searching in the beginning of my car search, and this car is what spoke to me uh, more than some of the other competition, some of the other uh, um vehicles that were out there on the market for the price that i wanted to spend all to be covered in future videos guys i'm really excited but this is it this is the camaro co one one last final look at this car absolutely beautiful let me know what you think in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next video take care god bless have a great day bye